Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Game Pass Game of the Week. And this one is Exo Primal. So let me ask you a series of very simple questions. Do you like dinosaurs? Do you like mech suits slash exosuits? Do you like big guns, big explosions? Do you like robots? Also, do you like killing hordes of enemies? Cool. If you answer yes to all that, this game has it for you. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. There is a story. It's very bare bones. Not in a bad way, because the game just wants you to go and kill dinosaurs. Get into a suit. Kill dinosaurs. Does What suit you want to be in doesn't matter. It's five on five. It's a PvE VP game. So, like, even if you pick just the PvE side of things, you will still end up doing a slight bit of PvP. Not in terms of, like, you going and fighting another team. But they can send, like, a dinosaur. They can control it, dominate it, and send it to your side. And you're competing with them to get done first. So that's the PvE stuff. The PvP, sorry, stuff that you do in the game. That's... The out outside of PvP, if it's PV when it is PvP, you can actually invade the other side, and it's kind of similar to Gambit if you've ever played Destiny 2, and you can go over there and disrupt what they're trying to do. The whole point is compete your objectives before the other team can get done with theirs. And the game's very simple premise and very simple uh, common situations is put you through. It does that extremely well. It's fun as hell to just chew the whole horde of freaking dinosaurs and blow them up and use different abilities each suit's got different abilities they, they're all cooldown bases you know um all with associated different buttons they all feel completely different and they all play different you know it's 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 a great fun time um i played uh all the ones that are available at launch minus the ones that you have to either pay or unlock so there's like a, a pack or whatever it costs i think 13 bucks if you have game pass to <clears throat> purchase the three other suits but you can also just unlock those via store uh, progression it's not so much story progression you just got to get your player level up to a certain point i think it's 30 40 and 50 for each respective suit and but you have i think what is it seven yet yeah. you have seven available from the get-go three of them that are the assault type two tanks and two um, uh, support types. And even though, like, you know, you would think support type is just healing and, you know, buffing teams and stuff like that, it's still fun to play because they still let you attack or do damage. You don't do as much damage, obviously, but you can still uh, be active and as you're healing the team and protecting the team. Same with the tanks. You know, they're and they're both they're all well, all three are actually different. I've seen the third one in game and in, and while they all in that same class, they all do it a different way. It's very cool how they got this set up. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes on from from this because um, I don't know. It's like you know, we it, with live service games, they got they had a hit right away, or you know, they just disappear. So I'm hoping this one gets to stick around, especially because, like, if Capcom needs to know if they should make another Dino Crisis game, here's your proof. I'm seeing a lot of love for this game, and it is well-deserved. Hope you guys check this one out. It's fun as hell, you know, with your friends or without your friends. One thing, though, um, there is a setting where, like, it's one of those where it instantly, even if you're in a party on Xbox, or if you have your mic off, the setting will basically turn your mic on anyway, and you'll hear other people, even if you weren't trying to do that. So muting the mic doesn't fix that. You had to go through the settings and set that up. Just so you know, it weirded the hell out of me when I was in a party and I could hear everybody in the game. And I was like, huh? And then, you know, like it was the second game I played. <laughs> it's the second game I played of this. And some dude was complaining, you guys are doing the objective right. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, I just started the game, sir. Hello, viewers. <laughs> I am We've all just started the game. It's been out for two hours. Shut the hell up. Anyway.
So yeah, I just blocked that guy, but <laughs> but other than that, most people are just here to have fun, except that one guy. And if I I wish I had his game attack, I would just I speak that guy. But I hope you had fun with this game, guys. It's fun as hell, with or without friends. I played it mostly single player, and um, yeah, it's it's a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Legend Greatness. Try for greatness in anything you guys do. I'll catch you guys next time. Please. Meanwhile, Ivius continues to recruit candidates to become new exo fighters. Humanity's greatest hope. Here are the latest images of recently developed exosuits. the final mission. Brace yourself for interdimensional travel. Prepare for combat. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. Do your part and generate robust combat data. You're a dinosaur and attack the enemies. Uh, Imagine uh, crossing uh, after the enemy. You may make the enemy team's combat uh, Disrupt the enemy's mission progress. Test facility. I require exo fighters for a live combat test. You're on quite a streak lately. Continue performing at a high level, and your extended existence authorization is all but greenlit. 